Okay, um, hard fought win. Give Citadel kids a lot of credit. Very, very tough minded, probably a more physical group than we anticipated. These early games are hard. Um, you know, you don't have as much information as you would like and, and um, you know, it became a little bit of a, mat, a matchup game in the second half. They went smaller and we stayed bigger and obviously Ian, I thought, was a major factor for us and he got off to a good start uh, three for three in the first half and, um, you know, Ed switched and tried to go small with his, his four man at the five and four guards and obviously that really stresses you with three point shooting everywhere and I mean, the kid Ash, we knew he could shoot. He was seven for 10 in an exhibition, but my God, he was throwing in 28 footers, 30 footers. I mean, they were, a couple of those were amazing shots. Um, and not only then, you just have to guard the three, but like it creates so much space for them to do the other things because they've got three or four guys out there that are elite shooters. So it was a hard first game, probably hard to play the young guys. That's the only disappointing thing is I didn't get the young guys in as much as I would have liked. Um, but I thought our older guys, you know, got the job done. We, we played very well at the end of the first half. We played very well at the beginning of the second half. You know, some of that is that's when we started making shots. Chase made some shots. Um, we built the lead to 20, and then all of a sudden, you just take a deep breath for a second, and they, you know, you miss a couple shots, and they throw a couple in, and right now you're back to 11, and they got momentum. And, you know, the last 12, 13, 14 minutes, you're in a hard-fought game against a team that can really shoot, so it's – really scary, but our guys made a lot of good plays down the stretch. Um, Chase was fantastic with 23 and seven assists, no turnovers. We only had, you know, uh, eight turnovers, I think, as a team, assisted on 19 baskets, and our three best shooters were three for 16 uh, from the three. So there are a lot of things that were positive um, that we had to overcome in terms of our own, you know, shots not going down and missed shots from our three-point shooters. but. Really good win against a gritty team. Yeah, he was he was imp improving, right? I mean, we could see it. There was early in the year last year, he, he still didn't quite have his confidence, didn't have his legs under him. Um, some of it is trying too hard, right? Sometimes these kids, they put in so much time and they're trying so hard that they're putting pressure on every pass, every shot, every play. Um, and until some good things happen, you know, you, you just you're, you're you're forcing it, and uh, and I think he he dealt with that, and uh, but you know he had another good off season, he's you know he's played well in the fall. Our guys have a lot of confidence in him, and he made some terrific plays, not just scoring, but passing the ball late to to Ian for some drop offs and showed some poise. He can, you know, he can obviously get to different spots on the court, um, put pressure on the defense because of his his uh, penetration and then his size. He's bigger, you know, he's six three and a half, two hundred and five pounds, so he can play over top of some people. Um, and I thought that he, uh, that was a big factor. He and Ian, you know, and, he, and Hunter too. We we tried to get the ball inside to the, to those three guys. I know we had twenty six paint touches at half. I don't, I can't remember. I haven't seen yet what. Our final was, but that was obviously something we were trying to do when, especially when they were smaller. Um, you know, we made some mistakes in terms of just guys settle for shots. We sh we took some, you know, a little couple of quick threes at ill-advised time and missed them, and that, you know, led to some things for them. Um, but later in the game, I thought we grinded it out better and, and execute a little more offense and and finish the game. Talked last week about the good weight that Ian put off and put on in the offseason, yeah. and he was just an offensive rebound. He's pretty good. Yeah, you know he's he's got good bounce, got good legs to him, got good hands, and so he he gets his hands on balls. He he can he's going to get a lot of them. Um, he's always been a pretty good rebounder. Rebounds per minute are always pretty high. Um, and you know this was a hard game. You know Ben because they went small in the second half. We really couldn't get him in there as much. Ian just had to kind of gut it out. And, uh, you know, thankfully he played very well and was up to the challenge. You know, again, I thought it was a little chess match when they went small and we had to decide, are we going to put Hunter at the five? What are we going to do? And we're going to put four guards out there. Or are we going to try to stay bigger with Hunter and, a, and, and Ian? And we just kind of rode those two guys and, and played with our size. Is there a 
of hurt your throw a little bit when Tyson went down to the four hard. You got to keep. Yeah, hard, right? you know, I mean, he's just he plays so hard, you know, that he gets involved in a lot of physical plays and uh, he's around the ball a lot. And you know, but golly, it'd be nice for him to play 32 games this year, and not 20 or whatever he's been playing the last couple. Um, maybe a little. I mean, I think he like he's excited by it. Like he, you know, we've said he's not going to play it exclusively. He's going to bounce around. He bounced around a little bit tonight. You know, Josh played it for a few possessions. His brother played it for ten minutes, nine minutes. Um, played them together some, but I think it's a nice, you know, change up for him. I think it's you know it, it's his head coach showing that he has confidence in him. You know. Um, Chase and I have been through a lot together for a long period of time. We've talked about it. You know, I really believe in him. And, uh, you know, he played terrific tonight. I'm, I'm really happy for him because he's one of those guys I, we talked about last year just showing grit, right? Just passion and perseverance toward a long term goal, sustaining, hanging in there, not giving in. And, uh, you know, he's really worked. Um, and, you know, you want good things to happen for people like that. 23 to 5 run in the first half, a real good situation there with the last possession, and, and you got a, a nice wide open look there for Chase. Had to, had to be happy with the way they executed. I did, yeah. We, we uh, called timeout and tried to run a little something, and then, you know, um, they guarded the initial part of it, and our guys did a really good job of making a play after the play. Um, and that's what, you know, a lot of this comes down to. Uh, coaches do a lot, but really your players have to make a lot of plays in these games on their own. Uh, and we had to make plays on both ends because of the way they, you know, the way they they put pressure on you with their offense. Um, your guys had to be tough and tough-minded, and there was a lot of individual defense tonight. Right, going into the year, believe this team will be able to match up better on the perimeter, better guards, better lineups. Jared Booker definitely was a perimeter defense. I, I thought it was pretty good. I'm, I'm anxious to watch the film. Um, I thought we had spurts where it really got better and where our physicality and size helped us because when they, you know, they're basically driving it to the paint or a, a drop zone area, they call it, and uh, they're going to pivot and make plays down there and try to score over you or feed it and kick it back out for three point shooters. And, you know, you got to stay home. You got to go back to the shooters. And so it's kind of your one on one in there in the paint. And, it, you know, it's, it's, you know, um, it's a little nerve-wracking, right? Because the guys are six or eight feet from the basket. Um, but some of those shots aren't as easy as they look. Um, and some of the analytics in basketball are now like you got to let guys try to make some of those. Um, they're not layups. They're not threes. You know, it's hard to make a lot of those to win. Um, and so in some ways, because of the way they were playing, we were trying to do that. Now, I told our guys, if they make double-figure threes, it's going to be a close game. Like, if they make double figure threes, it's going to be close. And they made 11 threes, you know, and they were seven in the second half. Um, and that's that's why the game got the way it got. It forced us to, to be good offensively. And we didn't make threes, but we didn't turn it over. We played in the paint. You know, we scored around the basket. We got offensive rebounds. If we don't play as well offensively, this is a tough game to win. Look, you had six guys make threes in, in the exhibition, five tonight. Ian made one. Yeah, we no. The last year's team had them too. I mean, Nick and Al could both shoot as well. So we, you know, we've generally here the last couple of years we've had five, six, seven guys that, that we feel good shooting the three, and we really work on it. We really practice it. We come in in the mornings, two days a week, and I mean, we shoot for thirty minutes and just, you know, before school and it's dark and we got managers in here and it's one guy at a basket with two managers and. We got this routine that we do for you know a lot of the fall, and um, guys will get 300 shots up, you know, in in a 30 minute segment, and then lift weights, you know, before or after. And so, you know, we really we practice it. It's a valuable tool. We need it, and you know, today we we're able to win without shooting as well. Ian said he's better from the outside than he is in the paint. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but he, you know what? He shoots the ball. He regularly is going to make over 60 out of 100. I mean, he's going to make. 60 to 65 out of 100 from in, in the drills that we do. So, you know, obviously there's a reason those guys are allowed to shoot. They have to make a certain amount in practice and in the drills that we have set up. And, you know, I mean, Hunter Tyson made 91 out of 100 in this drill that we do. That's the most we've ever had in this 
Houston 100 drill that we that we run, and and uh, you know, unfortunately today he was only one for five. So I mean, he, he had to make 90 out of his next whatever it is, 95 to keep it keep it going. But um, so anyway, his wrist or his hand? Wrist. Uh, a little bit of, I mean, you know, it's funny. I, I talked to him just for a second right there, and I told him, I said, you know, I know you didn't feel like you played well. You, defensively, he made a couple of errors, right? Like he got caught staring at the ball and his man moved, and he gave up a three, then he fouled a three-point shooter. You know, that's seven quick points. I mean, and, and it's really just kind of like ball comes at you. We told our guys, ball comes at you, you got to go back to your man. They, like if, if they're you know they're about five or six of their guys, we said you got to go back to the man because they're shooters. And if you stare and lose discipline just for a second, you know it's crazy. But Alex, even though the kid made five threes, he didn't make very many on Alex. He made a couple of loose like offensive rebound. He made one in transition. There was one we got a mix up. You know when Alex was guarding him just in like their stuff, Alex was home with him every possession. That's part of the reason, even though Alex wasn't playing as well offensively, we kept him out of there because you just trust his defensive discipline. Um, some of our younger guys aren't ready for that. You know, you, you just can't, you make a quick mistake and it's in this game, it's two threes and that's a lot. And so that's part of why I didn't play the young guys as much. And then Brevin, I thought gave that up. But the other side of it is, you know, he had 11 points and four assists, you know, and it was really like, if you, you wouldn't have thought he really did that much, but he drove it a couple times. He made a three, had a nice back cut late, passed it to guys for scores. So pretty solid, you know, just didn't play as well defensively as we need him to play. He was in been, was in foul trouble, um, had to be on the bench there with four fouls with four or five minutes left. Right. I imagine with his experience, you'd like to have him. Yeah, I would like to have had him out there more. Um, but, you know, that's part of, you know, us having to deal with different situations is playing other guys and, He's got to do a better job, and that's something we talked about. Is he can't have the couple of those silly ones. So how do you incorporate maybe some of the, the younger guys who don't get minutes and at least for the schedule? Looks like you're playing some pretty competitive games going forward. Yeah, just I think some of the you know there's some of the games that stylistically right like they played some against they played more against Mississippi in a scrimmage. You know they obviously the blowout win they they played a lot, but. Um, you know, they, they've also got to practice a little better than they practiced this week. And they, but remember, we were trying to guard this stuff this week. Or some of it. We, some of it we didn't know was coming. But they had a little trouble with it, right? And this is different. Even Josh got a little awakening to, like, this is different. Um, and so you got to really be locked in. And, again, some of this is the uniqueness of the way Citadel plays. Anybody on Zoom uh, have anything for Coach? You know, I don't know yet. He uh, he was better late in the week than he's been by far. Um, he didn't practice on Sunday. His sister got married, so he went to the wedding. Um, he didn't. He just did a little light workout today. We're off tomorrow, so I don't really have much for you. Could you decide to redshirt Johnson? Gibson? Yes. Yeah, I guess could yeah. you feel pretty good about. I do. I, I think he's. I think he has potential. He's six five. He's long. And he's got like he's got good legs right now. Like he's going to be a big, strong kid. He's got some bounce to him. He just needs he just like everybody. He needs a little maturity. Um, uh, he needs some experience in some ways. You know, in talking to kids and and their families, and you know, it takes some pressure off of you, right? Like, you, and everybody is. Well, how come you're not playing? How come this is happening? How come this? Why? You know, and it's like, hey, if he's redshirting, no, he doesn't have to deal with any of that. Like he just has to get better, and like he needs to get stronger, and so now he's gonna he's gonna lift probably one to two extra times a week, just like Josh did, and he'll put on ten more pounds, and he'll look like a different guy next year. Um, but he's he's got some like he's got that basketball build you want, six five, long arms, got some thickness to his legs, like he's gonna be a good long athlete. Um, he just needs more strength and he needs experience and. Uh, he probably needs to grow up a little bit. Just, you know, every guy comes to college and there's a lot going on and just being mentally focused. And I think this will take some pressure off of him, allow him to focus on a couple things that we want him to get better at, and he'll really do that. I think it'll be helpful. Brad, you like having a, a game like Carolina this early in the season. They're sort of get a, they 
better idea of what exactly what you're uh, doing? I don't know anymore. I mean, we've I've done it all different ways, right? Like it's fine. Um, I probably I think Lamont and I both would prefer this to be later. Um, you know, we kind of did this because of the Greenville situation where we both it was the only time we could kind of make it all work and our schedules. I mean, it's just it's really hard to to fit schedules with our tournaments, their tournaments, SEC, ACC. Um, so it worked that it's this Friday, but. Um, I think we probably both would rather it be later, and that would probably be better. Any more questions for Coach? Ben, did you like the looks Alex and, and Brandon got, even if they weren't knocking down shots? Yeah, did like I did. Those yeah, down? yeah. I thought Alex got a lot of really good looks. Um, you know, they both might have shot one a little quick, but you know, seventy-five percent of them are pretty good looks. And I mean, you know, the hard part is when you're a really good shooter. And the other team's trying to guard you. It's not easy to get open looks, right? Like so, you're going to have to shoot one or two that's a little contested. But I, I thought, by and large, those guys all got pretty good looks. We just didn't make them.